Hey guys and welcome back. Long time no video. Anyways, in this video I wanted to try out the pen pastels. Now I've had my eye on a set of pen pastels for a long time but really the cost point itself has really been what's been holding me back. So I finally broke and I bought a set and this is the landscape set. And the reason I purchased this set, one was all of the colors, the amount of colors you get for the price. It, my opinion, based on what I could find, this was the best price point for what you could get. And all of the colors are great. So here I'm just unboxing the set, taking a look. You can see I've got a lot of tools, a lot of sponges, and I really just start opening up the pans just to see the color. Now these colors are so vibrant. I mean, the, the camera just doesn't pick up how vibrant these colors are. They're really just beautiful. And it's a really soft powder, but it's not too messy. I mean, you're going to get a little bit of a mess because it's a powder, but it's not too bad. So here you can see I'm unscrewing all of the pans. And I'll be honest with you, I do not like these containers at all. I don't like how they're put together. One thing I really didn't like is that you really couldn't see the color. So I created some of my own labels and put them on these pans just so I could see or at least have an idea of what color I was going to get because you really just get like this hue through the clear plastic of what color you're going to get. And I was a little frustrated that I had to do this and I kept having to open and close all of these containers that I really rushed through putting these labels on. So I'm likely going to redo them at some point. I don't know when, but at some point I will. So here's my template. You can, uh, there'll be a link in the description down below uh, to my blog where you can download this template. I've actually added some leaves to this, um, but this template is for fine crepe paper. Okay, so this is my second peony video I've done. I'll link my first one at the top here that I did uh, a little over a year ago. And you can see I go into detail there and it's with heavy crepe. So it's got a different template. So for fine crepe paper, it doesn't quite stretch as much as the 180 gram crepe paper does. So you want to use a bit of a wider uh, template. So I'm, I'm fairly confident there was no packaging on this crepe paper when I pulled it out. To be honest, I think I've had it for a while. I'm not sure where it came from, but odds are most fine crepe paper is 60 grams. So that's probably what we're looking at here. And I'm going to use the permanent red pan pastel on kind of just, I guess you could say the bottom edge of my petals. So I'm going to cut out my first strip here. And I want to mention if you want kind of a smaller flower head don't use two strips like i'm using here use one strip and you really will get a really cute little peony ball peony ball and they're just really lovely and i'm actually looking at this now wishing i just would have used the one strip but i used two anyways so here you can see i'm applying my pastel to my strips here because this is going to be the center of the flower and for every strip I add color to, I'm going to be doing both sides. Um, I'm not going to worry too much that each side is equal. You might see me, you may not, may notice, you may not notice. Um, trying to stay within what's on the back side, but to be honest, I really don't worry about it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm going to put on the music and we're just going to go through this entire video and I will catch you on the other side.
So here's the finished flower, guys. Super cute. I'm just molding it here. We'll get um, a bit of a closer look at the details at the end of this video. Uh, but right now we're going to go through some greenery. As I said earlier in the video, I did add some, some uh, greenery template to the download document that you can get for the template. Now, I usually just wing my greenery. I don't use much of a template. I just cut out some green crepe, you know, look online, look at look at the flower, cut out some greenery and glue it on. Um, you'll also notice I'm adding a little bit of pan pastel to the greenery as well, just to give it a little bit, just some, some of that highlight, that red highlight. You'll also notice as I'm going through the greenery that I do have some struggle points. Greenery is not my forte when it comes to crepe paper flowers. The flower itself really is, which is fine. I uh, I uh, struggle through it, I get through it. So you'll notice me struggling through this video. Feel free to skip ahead because it does get a little tedious even for me to watch. Um, and I will catch you guys on the other side at the end of this video.
Okay, guys, so that's it. Here is my peony or peony. I'm really not sure which one we're supposed to use, but anyways, here it is. Um, I really like how the pan pastels really kind of give the flower some highlights. And I know I could do so much more with these pan pastels, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure that they're worth the money. Just because of the cost, I spent over, gosh, like $120 just for this set. That's quite a bit of money just for some, some coloring of your flowers. But again, they are amazing quality, really good, but I'm just not sure that they're worth they're worth it for me. And that's really more for me. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will see you at the next one. I think I'm going to be doing some more crepe paper flowers. So stay tuned.